All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are at the Excalibur Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas. We are here to give it a proper review. Let's look at the room, see what it's like, and then we'll check out the rest of the property. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon members that help keep us independent and growing. More on that later. All right, Spinners and Sharks, we did it. We did get a little bit of an upgrade, so we just got moved from the uh, resort tower to the royal tower to a king room there. Not much of one, but you know, it's one day, and it's for Labor Day weekend anyway, so I wasn't really expecting much, but the nice lady up front, she uh, put in the extra time, she put in the effort, so she got her $20 tip anyway. That's just what we do around here, so let's go ahead and uh, check out the room. All right, Spinners and Sharks, this is going to be a real short episode. We're just going to do a quick walk around the room, show you all the basics, and then we'll have a good time with it. So first and foremost, we'll start with the bathroom. Let's get a little light in here. Okay, so walking into the bathroom here, we have the basic toiletries, of course. And it's a single sink. It's a really big counter over here, though. And the mirror is just ginormous. I mean, have a look at this thing. Look at that. Really big mirror. You got your hair dryer over here. And of course you got the towels over here too. So this is the whole big thing over here. The toilet is in the middle of the bathroom here. So no separate water closet. Make sure to lock your door. The towels are up top. And then, oof, here's the shower. Doesn't appear to be any tub attached to this. So if you wanna have a good look at the shower. That's about what we're looking at. Someone tells me this will not be appropriate Ace of Vegas height. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, this is kind of small and enclosed over here. It's clean though. Do have to give him credit, it is clean in here. So don't mind being in here. It's not quite like the one at Luxor. Luxor was felt a little dated. And yeah. Not a super great shower, but at least it's clean. It's very clean. So I do approve that. Okay, coming back to the main room over here, we do have an adjoining door over here. We're not really gonna get into that today though, as I'm sure our neighbor isn't terribly interested in a visit from the Ace of Vegas. Immediately to our left though, we do have the closet that has our in-room safe over here. I do hope, I think that's just deep enough for a 15 inch laptop. I think we can pull that off. And then we can just do our normal way to lock this up. So the closet isn't super huge or super deep. It just slides one way or another. You do of course have your ironing board. And then you do have your iron up top. Luggage rack is over here and the safe is in there. A couple hangers so you can hang up your official Ace of Vegas attire if that's a thing that you like to do. Obviously, immediately off to the right is the full body mirror. So as our boy, the Vegas Paradise, likes to say, you can check yourself before you hit the strip. Then we immediately can turn around and we get a good sense of the room here. It's that full king size bed. It actually doesn't look too bad in here. I was expecting something, I don't know, worse than this. But it looks clean enough. Not super modern, but it looks clean enough. It looks like most things kind of go together. Let's take another closer look, though. Okay, so having a look, we do have the nightstand over here with the alarm clock. It's just a basic alarm clock, so it doesn't charge or anything like that. And then just a basic nightstand. does look a little aged. See a lot of Nixon dents in it. But that's about what we're looking at from the nightstand side of things. 
turning back around, we do have the, oh, what's that, a 40 inch telly? Might just be, that might be a bit smaller. Uh, we do also have a safe travel kit over here too, so they do have face masks and they are providing hand sanitizer still. So that's pretty cool. A few drawers in here. Definitely don't expect to see the safe in here. This is just for storage of things. There's another cabinet over here. I think that would be a good spot for a mini fridge, but something tells me there isn't one in this room. There also isn't a mini bar, so that's actually a little bit of a boon, so you probably have to order a mini fridge. Um, now, they normally charge you something like $35 a night for that, but if you have a certain medical condition that requires uh, refrigerated medication, then, well, they can't charge you for it. Alright, then we come back over here to the desk. I don't see any immediate outlets over here. That's the immediate problem I'm seeing. Also, yeah, we definitely got some wear on this chair over here. Doesn't look terrible on camera, but definitely got a little wear on the chair there. And a little drawer that pops out, and a reminder that this is a children's hotel. And check out the fun little crayon marks over here. As you turn around, you have kind of a section of a couch. I almost would have omitted this from the room design if it was up to me. But, you know, it's, it's there. It's a little stained, though. And then, of course, we do have the king-size bed. This is the main feature here. And it does have a couple outlets right next to it. it, does have a main light, there's the landline telephone so you can order room service and such and turn on and off reading lights and such. It's an important thing, let's see what the view is like. And the view is, that's not terrible, it's mostly at the parking lot. You do see some of the trop over here, um, it's a winner on uh, my most forgettable hotels in Las Vegas. And you can see a little bit of MGM Grand and all that. So, that's a neat thing. But it's mostly going to be the monorail and the parking lot and all that jazz here. So, you know. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, but this is our favorite portion of the video. This is where we get to uh, test the bed over here. So, we're going to check it out, see how comfortable it is. Let's go. One, two, three, jump. Oof. Okay. Actually, you know, it's not awful. It really isn't. I was expecting this to be like super hard and to hurt my head on it or something like that, but realistically, it's a, it's a functional bed, honestly. Definitely pillow top. Definitely pillow top on a spring mattress, but you know, it doesn't feel terrible, honestly. Well, I'm hoping the rest of the properties like this is just a pleasant surprise. Didn't mind it particularly. And we'll just go ahead and enjoy it for the rest of the day. So on that bombshell, it's Ace of Vegas, and I'm signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. All right, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's room tour. If you enjoyed the tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Once again, guys, I have to take a minute out to shout out our Patreon members. Guys, it's everything to me that you've chosen to support me in this way and help keep me independent of the fluctuating YouTube algorithms and ad rates. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping the channel growing, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. But in the meantime, have you even tried one night at Excalibur before? Was your room cleaner and nicer than mine, or was it dirtier and worse? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva. Viva.